all right guys hello YouTube so today we have a uh, Lennox rooftop uh, two compressors 120,000 BTUs each so um, I was here two weeks ago to do the PM and uh, found out that uh, circuit number one was empty I found out the liquid line uh, the discharge line was had rubbed against the the casing and uh, emptied all nine pounds of gas in total and the other circuit the same thing but the leak did not uh, there was no leak but the pipe the, the piping is damaged so now today we're gonna repair the first circuit recharge it with the nine pounds of R22 replace a dryer and all that stuff and we're also we're gonna recover the second circuit repair the damaged pipe and recharge it what we're gonna what what we're gonna reclaim let's hope we're gonna reclaim the full nine pounds the unit is more than 10 years old 10 12 years old and um, we got to give them cooling for the summer today we are the 30th 30 March 2017 so let's uh, start bringing our stuff up and uh, let's hope we can get you some shots so that's the unit I want to show you the leak real quick. Okay. Uh, now, right here. Boom! So uh, there's a little piece of grommet that goes in there and holds the pipe, but eventually it failed and the pipe failed. And on the next one here, that's the first circuit. On the next one here, same thing has happened. I tried to put it back here, but just temporarily. Oh, that piping is kinked so we're gonna repair that second circuit too we're gonna to have to lift up the top to do a nice weld there so machine is off waiting for my guy to help me bring my stuff up and we should start doing the repair all right so this is set up This compressor number one is dead from the leak that it rubbed on this side here. And we're recovering number two because he's going to end up leaking two on this side here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some thrust and some clips so this don't happen anymore. So we're just recovering here a second circuit and uh, we're gonna use that half inch pipe to make a nice connection here with a bend I'll go get my bender so uh, let's go on with the job all right guys so I don't know if you see it but this is a 1996 Lennox so, uh, like I said, uh, 10 years plus, 11 years old. So, we welded half inch, bended. The leak was here, was here. Well, this one did not have one, but was gonna get to. We welded, swedged here. 
all right replacing the dryers now I put a, a piece of trust here with a clip so this guy is never gonna move never gonna leak again on this side I even overkilled it by putting a clip here and then another one here so now we're on positive pressure 150 or 15 minutes it's not moving so I'm gonna start the vacuum on both of these systems recharge what, what I reclaimed and take out another 10 pounds from my truck for the other one and we should good, be good to go all right so right now everything is uh, welded everything is clipped top is closed now I'm pulling a vacuum here on both circuits I have my shredder core remover the core remover I put the vacuum gauge on this guy so I'm pulling two low pressure sides without the shredder cores to the vacuum pump because I've got two ports 3.8 and my other one I put my standard gauges and I'm pulling on each side of the high side so when I see a my micron gauge is going to be nice under 500 I'm going to probably switch everything back standard on one compressor start one and after that start the second one but for us now everything looks nice machine is back alive again machines in test mode Both compressors are running. Those fans have a fan cycling on them. So, now it's time to pick all that stuff up, and we'll see you on the next one.